Hello guys, so in this video I'll be giving you guys some tips on how to stay prepared for a software development job interview so you are able to crack the interview, right? So without wasting any time guys, let's get right into it. So before the actual interview, know exactly what to wear. Don't just wear anything. So make sure you wear at least a shirt or a turtleneck. So that's a bit professional. It's not that casual. And also wear at least some trousers. Don't wear your underwear or your boxers because I know some of us, because it's a video interview and you think that don't be able to see from the waist down. So so wear some pants at least a jean or some trousers and with the shoes at least wear the formal shoes or the shoes that are not really that fleshy so the second thing that you need to prepare is to prepare your mind because i know a lot of times when you get to your first interview or even if it's your hundredth interview when you love the company and you want you really want that job you'll be nervous like a bit nervous you won't have that much confidence so you need to actually prepare your mind before you get into the interview don't really just think that your whole life depends on this because as a developer like there are a lot of opportunities that are out there that will come to you or that you will be able to get so yeah just go there to learn go there to have an experience so that later on when you have another interview you can do better although you won't do like everything won't be perfect but you'll be better right and always remember like when you get to your interview you are not the only one who's being interviewed you are also interviewing them so the company wants you to work for them and they want to impress you as well so don't overthink everything don't overthink things so another thing that you need to prepare for and i think i've made a video where I included this tip make sure you know the company so just know the services that they're providing know the customers that they are providing their services to know the products that they are selling because even during the interview they might ask you something related to the company itself and if you don't know anything they will think that you're not interested enough to work at this company which will be a red flag so yeah make sure you know a little bit about the company mostly about the services and the products and their customers so it's in your advantage when you get there when they ask you about the company so another thing that you need to prepare for before the interview itself you need to know your CV very well because I've seen this as I was starting out in the interview process when I was going through some interviews when I don't really know my CV that well. So it'll be a red flag as well. They'll think that maybe you, something is faulty there. Also, before you actually get to the interview itself, what you need to prepare for is some questions that you're going to ask the people who will be doing the interview. So have some questions close by or write some questions down that you wanna know about the company before you actually go into the interview because thinking of questions during the interview is a little bit hard. So once you know the question that you're going to ask, that will be in your advantage because it will show that you have interest in the company. So I'm going to give like a few questions that you can ask. So the first question is, what are the plans for the company in the next three to five years? I'm showing the company that I'm going to work at this company for a very long time. So. I um, just want to know what are the plans in the next coming years because I love working at this company for the years that I've mentioned. Yeah, that's the whole reason behind that question. So the second question that you can ask is, is this a new role or is it a replacement for another person or another personnel who was working at this company? So the reason behind that question is I want to know if this role is a new role that is self-explanatory. So then I'll also say replacement. So the reason I'm asking if it's a replacement role is because I want to know if there are people leaving the company. Then if it is a new role, then that's fine. You don't have to ask a follow-up question. But if it is a replacement role, then ask them the reason behind the person leaving that role. So they'll give you the reason if they're comfortable as giving you the reason, which will mostly be the case. They'll tell you the reason the person left the company. They might say the person is looking for another opportunity. So the next question is what is expected of me in the next three to six months? And the reason behind that question is I want to know like immediately when I get to the job in the next three to six months, what type of things I'll be doing. So the final question that I'm going to give you guys that you can ask every single person that's on a panel who's doing the interview, it might be four people or three people or two people. So, and the question is, 
why do you enjoy working at this company? So the reason behind that question is that I want to know the work culture at the company so that I know exactly what I'm getting myself into. Also, they might tell you about the benefits. So the first question that you will definitely get during the interview is tell me about yourself. They're going to ask you to tell them about yourself, right? So to be able to answer this question, just answer it this way. I'm just going to give you an example of how I usually answer this question. So I basically say I have two years working with clients doing freelancing. I have one year experience doing front end development and back end development. I love new challenges because that helped me grow as a developer. I'm a person who loves working in a team environment because that improves my communication skills. I also have a strong passion for programming. So yeah, that's how you can go about answering that question. You can just try to not include your name because they already know your name. They already know where you're staying because your CV is in front of them. So just try to impress them on the work experience that you have. Also tell them about who you are, like you love programming, uh, you're a person who loves new challenges, you're a person who loves working in a team environment, like I mentioned, because that improves on your communication skills as you're working with other developers, right? So the next question is, why did you leave your previous job? So they want to know why you left the previous company so that they don't make the mistake of doing the same thing. If the company that you left did something, they don't want to repeat the same mistake because they are going to lose their employees and they are going to lose you basically. So at my current job, the way I answered this question is that I was comfortable at my previous job. I was doing the same thing every single day so I was not being challenged enough because as a developer you need to grow, you need to learn new things. So that's how I answered that question. So another thing that you can also say if it applies to you is that the culture was not the right fit for you. But note that if you say culture was not the right fit for you, usually they're going to ask you what is the right culture like? What are you looking for in a company's culture? Then another thing, which is not really a question, uh, it's just a tip for you. So you should know how to answer the behavioral questions. Like they might say, tell me about a time where you were in a team and there was a difficult situation and how you actually solved that situation or how you actually managed to get out of their situation. That's basically a behavioral question. So to answer those behavioral questions, use a method called S-A-R-L. So the S stands for situation, the A stands for action, the R stands for result, then the L stands for learning, right? So you should tell them about your situation first so they can know the situation, then tell them about the action that you took that solved that situation then tell them about the results after taking that action, then tell them about what you've learned after actually solving that specific situation, right? So another question that you're going to get most likely during the, the further stages of the interview process, you might not get this at the first stage, but sometimes you might get it because I've gotten it at a few companies. So they're going to ask you, what is your expected salary, right? Or expected cost to company. So that, those are the same things. So don't give out a number right away. So what you need to say here is just tell the person who's asking you this question that the company can make you an offer based on your skills and your experience, right? But if they actually have a budget that they need to stay in line with, they might ask you to, or they may insist on you actually telling them a rough number that you are looking for, right? If you're looking for 10,000, just add another 10,000 on top of that. So that gives you a breathing space for negotiation, right? So yeah, just make sure you don't give out the number right away. So those are the tips that I have for you guys. I hope these tips are helpful so you can be able to crack that interview. You need to make sure that you crack the first round of the interview so you can be able to get to the technical round and that they can test your technical capabilities. But make sure that you crack the first round by actually implementing some of the things that I've mentioned here. They've helped me a lot to actually proceed to the next step. A lot of times I've proceeded to the next step. So just take the tips that I've mentioned in this video. Make sure you write down some of the things that I've mentioned here so that you have them in hand. You don't have to watch the video 
a lot of times so that's gonna do it guys so if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel so that my content gets directly to you and hit that bell icon so i get notified whenever i release new content and lastly make sure you like this video guys thank you guys so much for watching have an awesome day bye